All right, guys, so I'm going to show you guys how to implement a very simple shuffle command. So just make sure you've already implemented the search.js, uh, the search command, as well as the view queue command, because we are going to be using those to test our shuffle command. So just make sure you watch those two videos and make sure you create the shuffle.js file. Make sure you create the class, the same structure that we've been using for all of our commands, okay? So we're going to go inside the async run function, and we want to make sure that the user who or the member who is invoking this command is actually in the voice channel so we're going to get the channel by destructuring the voice state object over here so message.member.voice gives us the voice state object okay and then we're going to go ahead and get the player we're going to reference clients.music.players.gets message.guild.id so that gets us the player that belongs to the guild we're going to check to make sure that both of these are truthy values so that they actually exist. Okay, so the member is in the voice channel as well as the guild has a current player. And we're gonna check to see if channel ID is equal to player.voicechannel.id. And then if this is true, you can add a voting system if you want. Just for the sake of simplicity, we're not gonna add this voting system because I've already done it in skip.js. But if you want, just copy the same voting system that we have over here. Basically, all you want to do is just check to see if members size is equal to one in, for the voice channel. And if it's equal to one, then just shuffle it. But if it's more than one person, if there are more than one uh, person excluding bots in the voice channel, then you want to set up a voting system and allow people to react with uh, the thumbs up or thumbs down to determine if the queue should be shuffled. But yeah, like I said, just watch the skip uh, command video that I uploaded. And I pretty much explain how to set up the voting system. But just for this sake, I'm just going to show you how easy it is to just shuffle the command or shuffle the queue. So we're going to do player.queue.shuffle. And we're going to just simply send a message called, whoops, shuffle the queue. Okay. And uh, that should be it. So let's just go ahead and let me get my bot on. So let's just have a bot join. Search. For some songs okay so let's just say cue all and let's just confirm there we go so now it's going to play the song uh in the first in the queue you guys can't hear it because like i said it's muted but now if i view the queue you're going to see we have a bunch of songs over here okay we haven't shuffled it yet but now if i shuffle it so now watch this view queue you're going to see that give me love is still number one because obviously it's the current song being played so that's not going to be affected but Number two is a different song now compared to the previous before we shuffled it. And you can see run official video is down over here. And I can add more songs. I can do search. We can do the weekend and we can just do queue all. And we can just confirm. And then now if I do view queue and if I go here, uh, give it a sec. You can see we have all these songs not touched, but let's shuffle our queue again and let's view queue and you should see some of the songs from the weekend on over here and some of the songs over here as well as some of the joji songs and we can keep adding more songs if we wanted to but um yeah that's pretty much it so like i said this is very simple very very basic i didn't want to go super crazy but like i said if you want just do the same thing that we did in skip.js and have a voting system where it will allow uh, people to shuffle based on the number of votes, okay? So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.